Fellas, welcome back out to the barn where I'm solving a problem tonight that doesn't really exist using parts that never should be put together, never should have been put together, uh, because I am impatient and cheap, and these parts kind of pissed me off. So, what's going on is I got the sacked out pile of gator for free a few weeks ago, and it decided to stop starting on me because it turns out this solenoid went bad. And so this is the this is the pump shutoff solenoid, and I had bought a replacement off the flea bay, and that one didn't work either. Now the next step, what I had set up was I was gonna show why the thing didn't work, how the thing didn't work, and then go into all of the steps of what I was gonna do to overcome this problem. See, I even had this battery set up and fully charged and. I'm not gonna claim I bought a new battery for this activity, but dang it, I really wish I could find that thing. It's gonna make it really hard to return. So I also realized too little too late that I should have filmed some of this while I was doing it, but it happens. So what was going on with the bad one was it would it would not pull in on its own. So what, what, what this thing's supposed to do in a vacuum, right? So let's ignore all the stuff that I welded together poorly. This pin, pushes on a lever inside the fuel pump that cuts off the fuel. And when you want it to run, the solenoid pulls that pin, probably not that far, probably like mm, that, pulls that pin out so it's not pushing on that lever. Well, this solenoid had something happen with the potting and now it's in on. It's an open circuit. So it's not pulling this pin at all. So the new one was able to pull the pin if I pushed it in and then it would hold it. And then when I let the current out, it would pop it right back out. But then you put the voltage back to it again, and nothing until you give it a little help. I tried it on the gator itself, on that little Yenmar diesel, and even the little lever spring you know, wasn't enough to push it in. I wasn't sure if that was sort of a design feature, so it turns out it's not. So we're going to be modifying some stuff instead because, once again... I am cheap and impatient and stuff like this. You know what? I'm going to apply some of the some of this dumb farmer ingenuity. So, let's get after it. I cut the end off of this solenoid and that included this little this this plunger and armature. Uh, I think it was I think this part served as the armature and the plunger. Uh, I can I can go into more detail about how solenoids work, but probably nobody wants to hear that. So, I welded, I started by trying to weld a piece of cable to that, uh, to that plunger. Uh, turned out that didn't work, that stuff didn't like to weld. So I found this scrap of steel on the floor that I probably cut off of something else and drilled a hole in it. And then, uh, ye focus, you can probably call that welding. Good thing it hasn't focused. All right, yep, that's a weld. And I welded this rod onto here. And what that's going to do is I'm going to use some more clever ingenuity to apply this cable. So this thing, that's junk. So I've got this universal choke cable thing from the farm store, right? That guy is going to hook in there. And then... I'm going to use one of these cable clamp dudes to hold the cable jacket to this piece of quarter inch all thread that I welded on here. And then that's going to be able to pull the plunger so that it'll run. And then push the plunger so that it'll turn off. Now fellas, when you're using a cable clamp like this, do not give it the ug -dugas. Use your best farm store wrench and just go until it breaks. Actually, just go until... All you need to do is keep this cable jacket in one spot. It's not... It's not a lug nut. Just, just give it a little help. Keep it all in the same place so that you know what's going on after you bolt the bed back on and can't really get to it very easy anymore. Look at that beautiful action. 
I don't want to stretch or anything, but I might wonder if this might even be reliable. And see, I'm not even messing around with you. Just, it's a working. And it's going to keep working because I'm cheap. Get this abomination assembled. With any luck, I won't run out of daylight. This cable is just in the way of everything. I wonder if this could be made electronically somehow. Now maybe with some just, it might need some adjustment, might even not, I don't know. One way to find out, just get the key. The key. Well. Oh bother. Okay, I realized I have one more John Deere on the scrap pile on the property. And does it still, it's still got the key. Now, if you fellers didn't know, all these keys are the same. Ooh. That's been on for a while. Good thing that battery is probably, well, I'm kind of surprised it hasn't frozen busted. But maybe there'll be a revival on this. By revival, I mean destruction. Okay, key. A little icy. But glow plugs glow. Oh, I haven't secured the other end of this. Oh, the glow plugs are off. On deck. A little longer than a few minutes later. There we go. Let's try it now. Okay. Engage. Engage some more. Gotta put this. Oh, 
gotta do something with that. Here? I'm gonna be using these self-drilling screws because, you know, they, they do it themselves. And I'm all into that DIY. 